Oh, yuck. This, not too close. I'm not sure which way to angle it so you can see it. This is a seed pod for a moth plant. And it's in a plastic bag because if you touch it, you will get bad things on your hands, apparently. I would love to shoot this and all its friends into the surface of the sun. But fortunately, in South Auckland, they've got a much more realistic way of getting rid of them. It involves cute kids looking after Papatua Nuku. All right, let's go. Centre here in Natonga Aroha. We've been a part of the Otara Papatoi Toi Local Board Moth Pod Collection Competition. Teams of students from schools and ECEs gather moth plant pods and seedlings to try and eliminate or reduce the number of moth plants we've got in Tamaki Makoto. From the start to the finish, we have collected over 22,000. We wouldn't say we're experts, but we're very competitive. <laughs> Tree. That's not good, eh? Moth pods are pretty much taking over our environment and they strangle all our natives. They strangle fences, buildings, anything. They're just so vigorous. They hold between about 500 and 700 seeds inside each and they can blow up to 30 kilometres. So what happens is Tafiri Matia will come along and he will pick up these seeds and he will carry them all the way to the neighbour's house and then more moth pods will start growing. Moth pods composted in their own compost, which we do have, and needs to go to a special facility with hot compost. If you put these pods in hot compost for three days at 60, 60 degrees or more, they will not be viable. I think 99.9% .9 of them will die. We find children are very good educators, and they teach their parents. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many have you got? Ten. Woohoo! If we were to win, we would use the cash prize to continue our garden. So we make sure that this garden always has fresh veggies growing, so that's free for our whanau to come in and grab any veggies they need for dinner. We take a photo with the children in the photo, and then we send it off to the um, competition email address, and those get logged onto our total. A small mop box. We put them in the bag, and we wrap it up. At the end of the competition, all of our emails and photos get tallied up, and then we find out who is the winner. Wow. Nearly 23,000 of those pod thingies they've already got there. Nga Taonga Aroha and all 89 schools and community groups who took part in it are going to find out who picked the most pods next month. Good luck, everybody.